Hi everybody, welcome to VLSI Point. So in today's video, we are going to talk about NPTEL SWAM courses. Yes guys, I am talking about July to December 2024 semester. Hundreds of courses are available related to the different different engineering fields. So what I have done, I have selected some specific courses for the electronic student which will be very much helpful if you are uh, willing to start your career in core electronics. So before going to those courses, I would like to tell few things about NPTEL so that you will get a clear idea why you should join these courses and what will be the benefits. Uh, after completion of the course. So NPTEL is a national program on technology enhanced learning. It is basically a project of MHRD which was initiated by seven IITs as you can see on the screen. The main aim of this project is to provide quality education to anyone who are interested to learn from IITs. And from 2013, uh, NPTEL SWAM has started some uh, courses. Uh, these courses are certification courses. Uh, registration is completely free of cost if you are looking to get a deeper knowledge but if you are willing to get certifications also then yes you need to pay a nominal amount which is 1000 rupees per course. So for more details you can check NPTEL SWAM website and uh, check all those courses available. So you can see here the list of courses. Multiple courses are there like uh, courses related to the uh, aerospace engineering, agriculture engineering, architecture and planning, then your uh, uh, biotechnology and bioengineering, chemical engineering, electronics engineering, chemistry and much more. Also you can see this uh, timelines, 4 weeks, 8 weeks and 12 weeks courses are there. Registration has already started and the last date of uh, uh, enrollment is 29th of July. So make sure that you will enroll yourself before 29th of July 2024. So the first course is Analog Electronic Circuits. So this is a 12 weeks course and in this course you can see the course layout. You will start with the introduction part then your simple diode circuit, BJT. Uh, analysis of simple non-linear circuits, your amplifier models, frequency response of common emitter and common source amplifiers, your uh, common collector and common drain amplifiers, multi-transistor amplifiers, uh, single ended signaling versus differential signaling, then your current mirror, current mirror is a very important topic in your analog electronics, uh, then your oscillations in feedback system, oscillators. So very important topics are uh, going to be covered in this course. So if you are interested, you can register in this course. The next course is low voltage CMOS circuit operation. Now, one thing I would like to tell this low voltage techniques are very much trendy because nowadays, whatever researches are going on in VLSI, uh, most of the things are based on the low power technique. Even I am also doing my research in low power applications. So all those students who are uh, uh, working professionals or working in this domain can join this course. So this is an eight weeks course. And in this course, uh, you will learn about the uh, uh, MOSFET operations, then your uh, basic charge models, FinFET operations, transistor sizing for the uh, combinational circuits, multi-state circuit sizing, warning flip-flop designs and operations, near threshold voltage, digital CMOS, memory designs, and much more. The next interesting course is VLSI Interconnects. This course is uh, mainly for all those working professionals who are working in this domain and would like to get more uh, in-depth idea. So in this VLSI Interconnects, this is uh, an eight weeks course. And in this course, you will learn about the equivalent circuit of RC interconnect, then the distributed RLC uh, interconnect model, Elmore model, electro migration in interconnects, techniques for mitigation of crosstalk, analysis of coupled interconnects, and much more. The next course is semiconductor devices and circuits. So, all those BTEC and MTEC guys who are going to uh, start their placement journey, definitely you guys should join this course. In this course, uh, you will learn about the quantum mechanics, solid state physics, Fermi function and the doping, recombination generation concept, then your metal semiconductor junctions, PN junctions, bipolar junction transistors, MOSFETs, then your uh, different uh, connections of the circuit, thin film transistors. So this devices concept are very important uh, for interview point of view. So yes, you can join these courses for a uh, better knowledge. 
NPTEL Swayam also provides some practice question and quizzes along with the lecture videos. So after uh, watching those videos for practice purpose, you can solve those questions and appear in quizzes also. So the next course is digital VLSI testing. This course is mainly for those students who are willing to start their career in DFT side because you can see the course layout. This is based on the design for testability that is DFT. So in this course, you will learn about the DFT basics, then scan cells design, scan architecture, uh, scan design rules, scan design flow, fault simulation, then test generation, ATPG for non-stuck at faults, built-in self-test benches, test compression, memory testing, power and thermal aware tests. So for DFT point of view, this course is very much helpful for you guys. Next course which you should join is the digital circuits. Digital circuit is something which is very, very important for your interviews. It is expected from all the electronic students that uh, uh, they must know the concept of digital electronics. They must know what is flip flop, what is registers, what is uh, uh, counters. What is the working, how uh, they perform, how the circuit is drawn. So to brush up your digital electronics concept, you can join this course. So the course layout is you will start with the number system, then your Boolean algebra, combinational uh, function, minimization, then logic gates, arithmetic circuits, code converters, multiplexer, decoders, sequential circuits, that is the latches and flip flops, counters, registers, data converters, semiconductor memories, and lastly, the microprocessor 8085. Next course which I have selected is System Design through Verilog. As I have already told in my multiple videos, then HDL is something which you cannot neglect. Either Verilog or VHDL, you must learn hardware description language. So in this course, uh, you will start with the introduction to Verilog, then your gate level modeling, behavioral modeling, data flow modeling, switch level modeling, synthesis of combinational logic using Verilog, then synthesis of sequential logic using Verilog. So after the course uh, uh, lectures, uh, you can practice some questions and give quizzes also so that you will get a better idea, better understanding in Verilog. Next important course is VLSI design flow. RTL to GDS. Now this course is specially for all those guys who are uh, uh, willing to get more idea about the physical design, about the backend. Uh, in my most of the videos, uh, you guys are asking that how uh, you can prepare for the physical design or what all subjects to learn to get into the VLSI backend. So yeah, this is one of the course which will be very much helpful for you. So the course layout is uh, you will learn the overview of VLSI design flow, RTL to GDS implementation, then your logic synthesis, physical design, verification and testing, post GDS processes, hardware modeling, then your Verilog part is also covered, functional verification uh, using simulation, then test bench, coverage mechanism, also the RTL synthesis part, logic optimization, uh, formal verification, static timing analysis, constraints, that is the clock, input output timing expectations, power analysis, design for test, that is the ATPG and BIST basics concept, then your uh, chip planning, clock resynthesis. So this course is very, very important uh, for the physical design point of view. Next course is introduction to semiconductor devices. Now, one thing guys, uh, you may get similar courses also. So in that condition, just check out the course layout. And uh, if you are willing to learn all those topics, then only register for that course. Maybe uh, you will get some different topics in those courses. So as per your requirement, uh, just enroll yourself for the course. So in this uh, semiconductor devices, you will learn about the uh, semiconductor in your daily life, then your carrier properties, thermal motion of the carriers, PN junctions, uh, non-idealities of the diode, then your ideal MOS capacitor, threshold voltage concept, long channel MOSFET, short channel MOSFET, optoelectronic devices, light emitting devices. Also some books and references they have provided, so you can go through that. The next course is analog VLSI design. So this is a 12 weeks course and uh, in this you will learn about the linearization of nonlinear elements, basic amplifier design using MOSFETs, uh, different biasing techniques of a common source amplifier, then your introduction to controlled sources, introduction to active loads, single stage differential amplifiers, multi-stage amplifiers using controlled sources. 
so just check out the course layout properly if these topics are important for you then or if you are weak in these topics then joining this course will be helpful for you next is analog circuits and system now again you will get similar kind of courses so what i told just check out the course layout and then enroll for the course so in this course you will learn about the electronic system then your analog signal processing by one port and two port networks devices for the analog signal processing feedback in system signal processing using op amps analog filters then your waveform generators pll and fll the next interesting course is c based vlsi design so in this c based vlsi design you guys will learn about the introduction to uh, electronic design automation then your uh, uh, what is the background of c based vlsi design what is high level synthesis so basically this course discussed how a c code can be automatically translated uh, into the register transfer level that is rtl design using high level synthesis so it's not like uh, only hdls can be used for the vlsi design uh, you can also use c language for your vlsi design purpose and by uh, this course you will get a more clear idea so yes guys this is about today's video uh, i have selected these some 11 or 12 courses for you guys uh, just check out the uh, nptel swayam website um, read properly all the course layout if it is useful for you if you find everything uh, well then just register for the course if you are willing to get the certifications also then just uh, you need to pay the fee of 1000 rupees uh, just give the exam and get the certifications i hope this video will be helpful for you we will meet in the next video